what's up youtube it's your girl kid back with another build video and today we are going to be going over the point forward build we're going to be making the pure point forward build in nba 2k21 all right so let's get right into it as you can see we're going to make this build a small forward and you can choose whichever hand you would like or whatever jersey number you want that really doesn't matter and for the pie chart we're gonna go with this pie chart right here which is the pie chart with mainly all playmaking it has the most playmaking you want to make sure you choose that pie chart all right for the physical profile we're going to choose the chart with the most speed we want to be very 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 fast speed is always key speed is very very important okay so for these attributes pay attention to what i do okay now as far as this build goes 2k really tweaked and nerfed a lot as far as how high your attributes could go compared to last year and that's not just with this build that's with a lot of builds especially in the finishing category especially in the finishing category so like when you're making your builds for 2k21 and you're trying to compare them to 2k20 it's it's you're gonna give yourself a headache because you can't make the builds the exact same and you probably won't be able to do some of the things that you were able to do in 2k20 and yeah we know it's a new game but that does suck but hey we will adjust you know because in 2k20 i, I swear the driving dunk was way higher than a 70 but that's all right we're gonna keep going keep going right into this video all right so that's what your finishing stats are gonna look like you can get up to five finishing badges with this build now let's go into the shooting i'm gonna max max out the shooting stats we got a 77 mid range 72 three point our free throw we're gonna take that all the way to 84 post fade we're gonna leave that at 60 we're gonna leave post fade at 60 it maxes out at 70 but we're gonna leave it at 60 if you max your uh now you can max out your post fade if you want you can max out your post fade as you want and that'll give you 15 shooting but I'm taking it back down to 60 so we can use those extra attributes somewhere else, okay? So for the playmaking, it maxes out at 92, but we're cutting it back down to 86. Trying to save up some attribute points. We're going to take the ball handle all the way to 85. Post moves, we're going to leave the post moves alone because we already are maxed out at 30 playmaking badges so we have no need to touch our post moves okay we're not gonna touch the interior defense but a max out perimeter also max out lateral quickness we need that 71 steal we can get our block up to a 60 and then for the defensive rebound, we need all the rest of that to go to a defensive rebound. You see how much defensive rebounds helps out your defensive badges? So, this is what, these are what your attribute stats should look like. And that's what your badges look like over there. You get five finishing badges, 14 shooting, 30 playmaking, and seven defensive badges. This is all on a pure point forward. That's what we're making. For the body type, you can go with whatever you want. I just go with solid for this. Now, for the height, you know, this year for the small fours, you can make your small four maxed out at 610 height. That's crazy. 610 height, but the default is 67. And you could go 66 with this build, it gives you plus two to your speed plus three to your acceleration as you vertical and stuff and it benefits your ball handle so you can I, you can make this build at 6'6 six, six. you get some pretty good stats at 6'6 six, six. but I'm going to leave it 6'7 I'm going to leave it at default for the sake of this video and for the weight I'm just going to take that weight down 
give us some uh, more speed points and acceleration. And for the wingspan, all right, this is what it looks like at default. You lower your wingspan some, or you lower it all the way, you get plus two towards your three-point shot. Your finishing stats go down some, but you also get a plus one on your ball handle. So uh, you get that 86 ball control and 90 speed, speed boosting off rip speed boosting off rip so if you want to do that you can do that and have you max maxed wingspan mm -hmm. 2k has not announced yet or confirmed yet if we get the plus four they have not confirmed a lot of stuff yet but i'm but i believe we're still gonna get the plus four if we get the plus four towards the attributes then you can probably get away with maxing out your wingspan or increasing your wingspan your wingspan some but i feel like you'll probably benefit the most with lowest wingspan or leave it at default but these are the takeovers you can choose between playmaking takeover shot creative takeover and the slashing takeover but this is a pure point forward we're trying to go crazy trying to break some ankles trying to make all the highlights so you got to go with that pure playmaking takeover you got to go with that playmaking takeover we're trying to put some bodies on the ground and there you have it we have created a pure point forward six seven pure point forward speed boosting pure point forward that's the build. That's going to be a great build. You're going to be hard to guard. You want to be hard to guard, this is the build for you. But that is pretty much it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you leave a like, comment down below, subscribe to the channel if you are new, and don't forget to hit that notifications bell. Also, make sure you follow me on all of my social medias. Try your best to keep up with me. And please make sure you follow me on Twitch. I live stream on Twitch at It's kid underscore all of my socials and my twitch links will be in the description thank you all for watching